Libro sabi ng is the sure home of something na hindi mo alam. Diba? Have faith na kahit hindi ka nag-review sa exam, sure mo, makakapasa ka. Yung tiwala mo lang na hindi, talag, tiwala mo lang na makakapasa ka. At sa point in your mind, nagdadawal ka, di ba? Sabi pa, um, para mga supporting ano, sabi sa 1 Corinthians 2 verse 5, so that your faith may not rest on men's wisdom, but on God's power. Yung trust mo kasi, nakapay siya sa isang tao. Sa, sa nararamdaman mo, it is based on your power. So, that is for me. And then, sabi ko, our faith has not been wala natin sa tao. Kunti, if inagay natin yung pala ng pala na yung faith natin kay Lord. So, faith. Naniniwala. Ano nga ba talaga pinagawa? Kasi parang kung sa isang sibling tao, maaano nila, parehas lang naman yung faith siya ka-trust. Diba? Pero kasi sa ating Christian, alam natin, may isang malaking bundok na nagsiseverate or nagdidistinct yun sa dalawang yun. Trust. Diba? Itiwala mo lang sa, sa inyo na we are doing everything for God. Pero, andun yung point sa isip ko na kaya ba talaga nila gawin yun? What if sa fail nila? Uh, parang gano'n. Pero pag sa faith kasi, pag may faith kasi isang tao, assured ka na magyayari yon or it will really happen. Katulad na lang yung, for example, I trust myself na I will have everything I can do. Pero I have faith na I really can do even if I'm not trusting myself to do. Amen. Yes? Minsan kasi, puro tayo diwala sa sarili natin. Sa nagrili lang ng sarili. Nakakalipo na dala na may isa kang greater feeling na kaya ko ay nagpunyo. So for me, to summarize this, sa trust kasi, 50-50 uh, yung chance. There's no absolute assurance. Pero pag faith, especially if you put your faith in God, so you would never doubt. <laughs> hindi ka na magdududa. Wala. You will be at rest. You will be at peace na. You just have to be up. Sabi nga, di ba? Faith can move mountains. And for me, it really can happen. It can really happen. Basta, yung faith and your relationship mo kay God is ganun sa yung kanina. So, kasi yung mas simple yung nababasag yan, di ba nga? So, why not? Why trust people if you can have faith in faith? So, sa last nga supportive verse ka dito, sabi doon, sa 1 Corinthians verse 4, chapter 4 verse 2, Now, it is required that those who have given and trust must grow faithful. So, ito, medyo maano to. Mahirap kasi, if you will read the previous verse before that, sabi doon, So then, men ought to regard us as servants of Christ, and as those entrusted with the secret things of God. Now, it is required that those who have been given a trust must prove faithful. Mabigat siya in a way, kasi sabi dun sa one, men ought to regard us as servants. Lahat ng tao dapat makita na servant tayo ni Christ. And then, sabi doon, and those entrusted with the secret things of God. Tayo as Christians, pin and pinagkatiwalaan na tayo ni Lord ng mga, mga secrets niya. For example, nala, speaking from my experience, yung yung relationship namin to the point na nakikita niya yung hindi ko nakikita sa sarili ko na nagtitiwala siya sa akin na kaya kong gawin yun kahit sa sarili ko alam ko hindi ko kaya it is how God trusts us and yung faith natin yun yung nagpupush sa atin na nagkakayakin natin yun kasi hindi naman tayo yung magawa kundi yung taong 
nagtiwala sa atin at pinagkatiwalaan sa atin. Amen. So,
the city of Cork. For ano siya? It is one of the top three, parang top three cities before. And then, as the name, uh, the end of the Pinuha ng romance yung Pinuha ng romance yung other parts ng cities na buha ba yung economy ng Cork. So parang isipin mo, parang tundo na siya. Parang ganun yung yung state ng Cork at that time. And then, there, there's one disciple, si Eparpas. Memorabas. Ito siya. Um, he is a disciple of Paul. He is a disciple of Paul. And this is uh, Paul's letter to the congregation of Colos. So, kaya siya. Yung book ng Colossians is one of the letter of Paul. To those to the disciple. Imagine mo, parang siya. Parang Paul is the pastor Cesar Castellanos. And yung Colossians is the letter of Pastor Cesar to the Philippines. So, hindi niya kilala isa't isa kung sino yung pinapadala niya na letter. It's a whole, it's a whole season. It's a whole congregation. You can have a delegate. So the first part of Colossians is 1 and 2. It's the rebuke niya. So we know the best of all things. Because, uh, because, uh, you disciple them say, if our fast, if our was, is ano lang siya, is second hand, right hand lang siya ni Paul. So, so, lahat ng narinig ni if our fast, galing sa other cities pa. There's other cities na nagkatrabe. So, maraming false teaching na lumalabas dun sa kanilang congregation. And then, the letter 1 and 2 is the review niya. Is kasi yung false teaching na lumalabas is parang hindi, hindi siya, ayun, hindi satis, parang hindi enough na namatay si Christ para masave. Yun yung false teaching na lumalabas. And then, dumating sa, dumating sa closure state, na sinabi na, na parang, kung ikaw, naniniwala ka, diba? Closure state, if you have been raised up with Christ, if you believe that, you believe that Christ is God, then, keep seeking the things of God. And, uh, to see the things of God, and set your mind on the things of God. Yun yung lagi niyang, yun yung lagi niyang inuulit for the first, uh, for the third part of, of, of this letter. Kasi for it, kasi naisip ko rin yun. Naisip ko rin yun yun. If I, if I would apply that in my life, if I, if I would receive that letter, um, naisip ko rin yun. Ano nga ba yung end game, end game ko dito sa mundo? Kasi, you think about it, our life is like, so, our life on earth is, this long life. But we still have the longest eternity that we need to plan. So, say, lahat ng pinaplan natin for the day, for the tomorrow, is our life here on earth. We forgot to plan for the next part. We forgot to plan for the next part of our life. So, parang, bibili ako ng, kunyari, bibili ako ng notebook para sa class ko. Magagamit ko lang for one to three years. Pero, um, have you invested on something na magagamit natin after we leave this room? Have you invested on a person? Have you invested on, on something na alam natin na we, uh, that has eternal value? Amen. So, so parang, uh, what I'm coming to, uh, what I'm fixating on this year is just having a vision. Tulad nga ako ng solitude. Having a vision is so um, Not having a vision is an E. Kasi if go ka lang ng go, then wala ka ka lang ka. If you're driving at night, then wala kang headlights. Malay mo, you're hitting a tree. You have, first have to have a vision. Kung saan ka mag-punta. If you're going straight ahead, then go straight ahead. Then if, um, so it's deadly because uh, if you, <laughs> you don't have a deadly position, baka mamali ka ng, mamali ka ng goal na to set for yourself. And then,
story that time spice picture eyes and pictures pero parang it's too big of a phrase it's too big of a phrase picture eyes and pictures like every decision we make is we make we make is to like um is to glorify God even if it's hard for us even if giving that 100 is um is mahira is um is it uh